Episode number 480 of WP Water Cooler. It's giving server the new era of hosting. 10 guesses who made that. I'm Jason Tucker. You can go find me on my non WordPress website over at jasontucker.blog. Oh, look who's throwing stones. Um, hey, I'm Say Reed. I guess my website listed here is also not a WordPress website. And y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Jason Cosper, back at it again on the world's most influential WordPress podcast. And yes, my site is hosted on WordPress. <laughs> you can find us wherever it is that great WordPress podcast can be found. And hang out in our WP Water Cooler Slack.lol, where you can hang out with us in our Discord. Yeah, <laughs> just make sure you hang out in the right spot. <laughs> right, exactly. Going to Slack, you're like, we actually had a Slack. I think we still we did. Slack. So don't yeah. go into the Slack and like think that like no one, everyone's ignoring you or something because like, right. they are because we're not there. <laughs> no, that's just a joke for us ourselves. You showed up to the party happened. and it's yeah. at the wrong house. <laughs> I actually had some people do that for the first time ever. I've, you know, I've been, I guess, hosting shindigs for a long time professionally, like personally. Uh, and literally this past birthday, my Friends showed up like the day afterwards. We were like in the yard, like cleaning up oh, the no. talk. And they like walked up and was like, hey, hey, you know what? This is a group. Okay, this wasn't planned, but this is pretty awesome when you think about hosting parties <laughs> and we're talking about hosting. Yeah. Yep, yep, I yep, love yep. a good segue. <laughs> I, yeah, I was going to say, I accidentally showed up at somebody's house one time the day after the party. We thought it was good. Uh, they said the party was Sunday. It was like a three day weekend. We showed up on that Monday because we thought, oh, like it's going to happen on like the, the Sunday of the weekend. Yeah. Right. No. Right. Like, who has a party on a Sunday? Like, if you've got a three day weekend, like, do that shit on a Monday. Especially if it's a daytime party. Um, exactly. no, so wait, wait, I have a question. Uh, did you hang out with them? We, we uh, they were just like, come in. We have so much food and everything yeah. else left over, and we That's hung what we did. out. <laughs> yeah, we totally did. It was we were actually coloring with like this big fish, you know, four year old, and uh, mm. um, we were like, come on over. We can hang out. We're already in the yard. There's no bounce mm -hmm. house, unfortunately. Right. Um, but no, so uh, this is a great segue, unless, Jason, you have a, a story about nope. arriving. No, you're so, you're so, like, you're good at following your rules. <laughs> but, uh, okay, jerk. <laughs> what? That wasn't meant, like, <laughs> that wasn't intended as a dig. Uh, that was no, the admiration yeah. for, for your brain, how functional it uh, is. I've, like la last episode, which you weren't here, but I don't know if you listened no, or not, no. but last episode we talked yeah. about um with like consolidation, doing some consolidation work on my mm -hmm. end of just like a bunch of websites mm -hmm. that, you know, and kind of clean up a bunch of domains and all that fun stuff and figuring out what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. And I don't know, it just felt like it was like spring cleaning. And I was like, yeah, oh, I gotta do this whole spring cleaning thing and figure hey, it all out. Quick question, because I didn't yeah. listen to the show. I am so remiss. Everyone else should definitely listen to it because I bet it's amazing. And I I just would probably be jealous that I wasn't there because I'm like, oh, I want to say this. Um, but uh see, and then or just you know, I'd be like, Oh, I forget what I want to say here at this point. <laughs> I wanted to ask if you talked about spring cleaning in terms of domains. In yeah. terms of, I don't know, reconsolidating <laughs> domains. Yep. <laughs> yep. And moving yeah, so much so that I'm like, I'm like making <laughs> um, like uh, directories that have WordPress installed in them, just so it's like, all right, this crap can just like live here. And even thinking about like just making everything static, just so the thing can still exist on the internet, but not, you know. A after that episode, I have taken uh, what I think is a complete inventory of my domains. Uh, I have uh, an oh god, oh, that's so, I have like amazing. I have a spreadsheet. Wait, wait this that, was a dev branch though, right? Wasn't it? Or was this a regular? It was one? a dev branch. Yeah, it yeah. was a dev branch. And okay. we, we got into it. We got into, you know. Just because I don't like, want someone who's listening to this to be like, wait, that wasn't the last episode on here. Like right. They went they, back one episode. So it's on dev branch, which you have to subscribe to separately. Yeah. This is not an intention to get you to do that, but that's some pretty good, like, baked in marketing. Dang. We're, we're, yeah. We're, we're, wow. I, I just can't help it. I just... I just mark it as a personality. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's uh, why I'm yeah. so annoyed. Like, like and subscribe, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so you can sell no, so it on your domains, or you, you I, log I, them. I, I log them all, and I am uh, did like that basically hurt? like when you did it. Did you feel like wow? I yeah, have do you want to share the number stuff that I should nope. not be paying because <laughs> because people can do a math and then they'll be like so eight dollars a year twelve dollars a year now times x times x years equals and then they will come back at you with a you know they might be like that's x number of dollars that you spent on air. It's nice to not. Um drive that car but you you could have bought that car <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah all right yeah. i'm gonna yeah. oh look you. at this courtney friend of the show courtney is literally commenting on my microphone while she's like just she's like it's like her she's like amazing at this there she's, you go she's Hi. Not, she's not on the show and she's still being helpful i know I it's it. like my personality so, so, is marketing her personality is helpfulness it's kind it, of wild. It it's like baked absolutely in, is. Baked in. Is this better? Is this better? It's much know. better. Okay. Better. So uh, no, I but did I, ask I, beforehand. I I okay. do. Uh, I did take a, a whole inventory. I won't get into how many domains, but I also. Uh, a la like the spreadsheet. I, I know that I mark down, use markdown for everything. And I know Say has a problem with markdown. We won't get into that. We're already seven minutes in and we haven't even started talking about the topic yet. Okay, uh, so but I don't I'll, have a I'll problem with to... markdown for people. I have a pro problem for mark with markdown for users as a default. Sure. Okay. Thank um, you. I clarify. So, but I, I added columns to be like, okay, here's <laughs> what's running on the site. Here is, you know, uh, where the site's hosted, everything else. And I am, I've basically been going through, this is going to be like a week's long, like casual project to try to like bring everything in line mm. uh, with um, like, okay, this is where things are hosted. And, uh, like Tucker, uh, I have a few hosting accounts, and I'm just kind of trying to like consolidate things as much as possible. Y'all, I um, have, I have, have a legacy Hostgator account. Yes. <laughs> I hear you. I don't. I hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's really sad. I I manage some on. I, you know, it's funny. I kind of put Bluehost and Hostgator in the same bucket. Are they? They're both owned by the same company, right? I think. Um, yeah. Or no, maybe is Bluehost owned by EIG? It's not, right? No. Anyway, I don't. I don't know. All the hosting, like so much, has gotten bought, bought up by um, the larger hosting companies. It's kind of hard to know which ones are which anymore. Um, mm -hmm. But. Whoever is owned by HostGator, I feel like it's like this legacy. It's like been around for so long. And then I think of Bluehost, which has also been around for so long. Um, but I've used, I, so I've used for a long time, all of these different hosts. And I still have accounts, <laughs> even if I'd never put a client account on there. Um, I still have all of these accounts. So it's it's like the evolution of the UIs and the services and the management. It's just it's really been an epic an epic uh, journey. Yeah. yeah. Recently, this is a kind of uh, over to you, Cuthbert. I recently noticed that uh, DreamHost has really streamlined their UI. This is not a paid commercial yeah. for DreamHost, um, but it's like websites are just like in one spot and others you know things are just it's like so simplified and i think to like it's not even like to the days of the cpanel because i've used cpanel recently <laughs> right mm. on bluehost um but even the c panels are different now you know they're like mm -hmm. got like a i don't know like a rounder they're rounder sure the ui is rounder and less uh less windows looking you know like microsoft yeah. windows looking dos less dos looking <laughs> right so yeah that... so this this oh sorry go ahead yeah no, I was I was gonna say uh, one uh, we have uh, in the chat uh, people pointing out or that people chatting in the chat oh chat yeah the chat. 
Oh yeah, uh, that that Bluehost oh. is EIG. Uh, See, the, I thought it was. EIG Thank is you. now Newfold Digital. So, oh wow! Thank you yeah. for the corrections in the chat because um, I, I obviously again, you know, we do this water cooler from our soul, our hearts, and our souls, and not necessarily from our Google research. So right. these are not right. pre-researched topics, uh, and we'll tell you when we don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. Right. You know, so thank you for providing that information. I I can't even wrap my mind around how much stuff EIG owns. <laughs> like I don't yeah. even know how to like Newfold. quantify that. Newfold, sorry, Newfold. Right. Oh my gosh. I the, like you wait that long seems enough, like, they'll be old fold. Well, will it? I don't know. So okay, I besides me freaking out about just the swallowing of the of the of all the things, do you remember a small the consolidation? Orange? Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, do you remember a small yeah. orange? It's just such a mm -hmm. unique name. And when they got bought, which was ages ago, I just you know it was just like mm -hmm. like the 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 nothing the from the orange. uh what's what's it called? It Never got juiced. Story. It got juiced. So and got juiced. and speaking <laughs> speaking of speaking of uh, juiced, uh, Yoast got bought. <laughs> right by, by new full digital as well so they it's have, all they have they the have aristocrats to, right uh they've been able this to at least maintain their um community care or sure. like yoast cares grant so that's a good mm -hmm. thing I, I mean and obviously bluehost is is tightly affiliated um with uh wordpress i don't know if anyone caught this the other day um, but there was actually a change to the hosting page um, in Bluehost, who has been on there for quite some time. Uh, they changed their description. Right. And no, I'm not talking about how anyone gets on the hosting page right now for anyone who's alarmed. <laughs> But if you want to look into to, that, you should probably look into that. That's not what I'm going to have to opt out of this conversation. <laughs> uh, I know. I'll, I'm, I'll be I'm right not, back. No, I'm telling you, I'm not having that conversation. Don't get alarmed. I could feel. I mean, like we can put the train back on the track and talk about the subject <laughs> no, at hand. <laughs> no, this is relevant. <laughs> That'd probably be easier. This is relevant. Yeah, the the change was that the text. It was just changing the text for Bluehost's description on the mm -hmm. word wordpress.com dot dot com. <laughs> the wordpress.org's hosting page, um, and it changed the text. And the intro was uh, Bluehost is WordPress WordPress's longest running partner. Uh, that was the intro. I mean, it changed some other things. And I was like, oh, that's interesting, uh, since we don't ne necessarily have definitions for partner. Um, but it was also updated shortly after that. So it no longer says that. Um, so anyway, you can go look at what it says. There's a meta track for it. This is public information. I'm not saying anything controversial right now. I'm just telling you what it says in the track ticket, which is what we do here. On the water cooler, we read track tickets. So Tucker hosting. <laughs> I don't know. I only got like twenty minutes to talk about it, but you know. All right. No, look, I I can pull it all together. It all it all matters. What I'm saying is is that you've got yeah. Bluehost, which is e EIG, which is Newfold, which is right HostGator, which is yep. a smallest orange, and then you right. have the the WordPress behemoths, we've got GoDaddy, we've got DreamHost, what, what, um, we've got just uh, WP Engine, lest I forget, right? We've got these major WordPress players, and that's not even to talk about externally to the WordPress world, which is, you know, what would that be? 57% of the internet <laughs> and right. what their hosting looks like. But on our side of the internet, I think that Per our title, we are really entering a new era of hosting. It's been a long, a long and interesting journey, but we've got managed hosting, which has become a whole world of yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and it's funny because something so simple, right, as space on a server is actually like exponentially complicated and has all of these different nuances. And I'm just talking about for WordPress, WordPress stuff, right? Like keeping up with, for example, 6.5.2 and 
and right. not 6.5.1 and like putting out, you know, keeping, keeping all the stuff updated across the shared host, the shared servers, like my old host gator account <laughs> or the managed servers, like all my beautiful dream host accounts, dream press accounts, I'll say. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but like, it's just, it's how does one tell the difference, let's say, between mm. hosts at this point when everything is like, I don't know, it's, it's, they're very streamlined and packaged, but you can't just like, it feels like you can't just go spin up hosts the same way you could, or you can, but like, it feels dangerous somehow. Like you're going to yeah, have I mean, all these like, co like cost is definitely going to be like a good indicator of, of least like the range. Cause they're all going to compete with each other. So if you're paying, yeah. you know, zero to, you know, uh, actually not even zero. If you're paying like a dollar to uh, say $15, you're probably in some type of shared hosting situation. And then once you get from like 15 to 50, you're in like the smaller, you know, managed maybe. Yeah. And then in the middle there between those kind of overlapping that, that, that whole thing is those like, um, it's like a semi shared, um, dedicated VPNs? hosting. Wait, no. Yeah. Not where it's v like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Where you got that dedicated hosting, but it's still kind of virtual. I have never have... understood shared dedicated servers. And because I, yeah. there was a long time back in the day, not now. I get it now, right. but I I thought that's what shared. Ho I was confused at some point about like what like the shared dedicated server was versus like the shared hosting. Yeah, that, that, but you yeah. know, I I don't even need to worry about that in terms of like distinctions anymore because right, I don't want to do any of that work. Oh, <laughs> right. I want I want Cosmer to do all of it. That's it's like bare metal, and then there's like a b b virtualized bare metal, and then <laughs> and then there's you right. know because like if you just get you walk into a room and it's like all right, well here's your office space, feel free to build things. Versus and, like oh here's all the furniture and it all has WordPress right, that's branding. That's a great on analogy. It, you know? the, I love that. Yeah. The other the other side of it as well is think about uh like vps vps uh has become this like weirdly loaded term because uh some vps is like okay well uh you know you can host your websites on uh more dedicated hardware the more dedicated I like that. right that, that <laughs> or like the resources are shared but like you have a guaranteed amount of ram and hard drive space etc uh mm -hmm. where like on a shared server it's it's like moving from uh say a shared server is an apartment uh where you have mm -hmm. to deal with your noisy neighbors uh you know somebody throwing In my a party. analogy this analogy still holds yeah oh yeah uh, totally does yeah oh uh, and then uh, moving to like a VPS is like moving to a condo. You still have neighbors. They may affect you, but for the most part, it's quiet because like there are rules. There's an okay, HOA wait. that says, hey, you're getting out of line. Like stop. Like, mm -hmm. and you <laughs> know, you get, yeah. And, and you get in trouble that. for it. Yeah. Okay. And, but what about, what would you consider? Is it like, uh, is managed hosting like the Airbnb? Is it like a, a furnished hotel room? Because, no, you know, it's... like managed hosting, like, actually, it's not Airbnb because at Airbnb, you have to do your own cleaning. <laughs> right. Like, so, so it's like a hotel suite. That that also all depends because there are some hosts that uh, when they say that they're managed WordPress, it's that they manage uh, core updates, they manage security, they put caching at like oh, the the, the music server to my level. Ears. I love uh, saying I love it when things, you say these things are handled. However, <laughs> uh, there are some uh, and not all. Uh, but there are some managed WordPress hosts where you are effectively on shared hosting and you're back in the apartment building, but it's a nicer apartment building. You have a door. Who's doing the cleaning? You know, it, it, right, exactly. You have. Uh, <laughs> this uh, is important to me. <laughs> you have a cleaning service that comes through. You have uh, a doorman. You have someone to sign for your packages like that it, to, to keep the metaphor going. 
Yeah, um, I like the you metaphor. Know, <laughs> yeah, so so you're you're back in an apartment, but it's it's a nice apartment. It's a high rise apartment. It's one of those but it's uh, furnished. places. It's it's furnished. Uh, you know, things are. You can bring in whatever you want to bring in, mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, you know, Wait, but per, on managed hosting, you can't actually bring in whatever you want to bring in as far. Well, I mean, you're not locked down to, uh, I, I mean, unless you're hosting particular places, you aren't locked down to, to particular plugins or anything else. You right, can right. still bring your site. You can still bring your WordPress site in as long as it's WordPress, bring it on it. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're, if you're at, uh, a place so you don't like, get access say, to like the plumbing if there's a problem you call the super and they yep. fix that you're not like packing your own little plumbing under the sink i i did it i extended the analogy ah, we, i'm so happy yeah. i love it so that that really but uh <laughs> to get back to vps that's that's a loaded term because sometimes when people offer vps service they offer service that has uh, like root access so you can right. like install extra packages and stuff like that. But like uh, I disclaimer uh, hashtag not sponsored. I, I work at DreamHost, but like our VPS yeah. doesn't have root access. It did briefly, but not enough customers were actually using and requiring root access. So uh, we found well, it uh, mm -hmm. better for customers to just basically have like, here are your dedicated resources. And you can mm -hmm. go a step further and get a dedicated server, which is an actual server in an actual rack somewhere, not like a, a cloud server. Like That's you so intimidating with, to me. Yeah. Uh, and, and it makes me think of know, big hacking. <laughs> like, and then it's like, sure. wait, if you have, <clears throat> if you have a dedicated server through a big host, like, like dream host, mm -hmm. uh, do you still, you, I mean, I would assume you still, but like what level of protection do you put on that server? You're not just like, here's your server, go to town, connect to whatever, right? You're still like, are there some parameters? Well, maybe we shouldn't answer this. <laughs> no, I, mean, I was like, is this a bad question? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I mean it's it's to to keep the the house analogy going. It's it's like uh, uh, you know, uh, especially like the three of us. It, it's it's the three of us. Like you know, we live in Southern California, like in Hollywood. Like when a star gets a mansion, you get big enough as as a celebrity, you get like a mansion with a property. It's fenced off, like uh, mm. and and you know, uh, it to, has a to staff. To, it has a staff to keep your party analogy going uh, or, you know, to keep the party analogy going. Like you can throw a, a big party like this Jay Gatsby style party uh, <laughs> and, you know, people can, uh, you know, come and, and show up and everything else. They might trash the house a little bit, but that's fine. You have staff to clean that up. Uh, now, dedicated <laughs> servers aren't. Yes, my question. Do you have to hire your own cleanup staff for the dedicated yes. servers? Got yes. it. Uh, you provide dedicated servers, perimeter security. Right. Dedicated servers aren't managed like a right. lot of managed WordPress hosts are. Right. Uh, so uh, really. You no major domo. Right. There's, That's a there's word no, you learn in LA, by the way. <laughs> there's no concierge to handle stuff for you. Right. Okay. So, but you are, you do handle like, you know, big stuff or is it really just like, uh like is there a parameter a, a perimeter a security perimeter around that giant mansion where you can do whatever you want or is it really just like it's on like you know um blm land and that like or like no laws apply to it <laughs> like it's, it's I mean, you're not you're you're not taking the yacht out into international. Can you water. put a rave? Okay, yeah. Do like, a rave is there? it an That's island? She's asking. Is there can is there any there? restrictions to a rave? And can you make fire? A rave? I am asking about a rave. That's sure, what sure. I really want to know. <laughs> Where I mean, is the rave? I actually don't want to go to the digital rave because that is probably some dark web raviness that would I and that's just I don't know enough to protect myself from that level of the internet. Right, you have to install special browsers. You, yeah, like, all the domain names look weird and end in dot onion. Like, forget about. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm not right? interested. I rely no. on people to tell me about their their sojourns into that world. Um, 
but so pulling it back from from that madness, right? So you are still monitoring what's going on on your servers. Um, I, this actually ties in. I didn't know this was going to tie in, but I recently saw a post somewhere, probably on Twitter uh, or X, that uh, was talking about someone got a um, cease and desist, not a cease and desist. That's something else. A uh, ending of services, I guess, letter from Jetpack that said you are hosting content that um, was like a it was a sex worker, I guess. And oh. you are hosting content that violates our terms of service, which they recently updated. Um, and so so this isn't even hosting. Right. But this is Jetpack. So sort of I guess they're using it as a CDN or for Photon, is that Photon's a CDN, right? Yeah. Photon a CDN, yeah. So anyway, they were dropped from their Jetpack connection uh, oh. for that content. So I think that's really interesting. And we have been talking in the Discord lately about just uh, where um, where a lot of sites are hosted with questionable content and where like who's who's doing that now. So I always wonder, are those on dedicated servers so they have minimal management and supervision or do these things happen mostly on I mean I can't imagine someone like logging into their dream press with like their you know well I mean it, it, I don't know <laughs> it it all depends on uh how your host uh especially a US based host uh upholds their particular like first amendment um mm -hmm stuff um i i know and and personally like i can only speak a, a, about the host that i work at but at, at dreamhost uh there have been cases uh where um you know like uh there was uh back during uh the prior presidential administration uh they were trying to get uh ip addresses of people who were visiting uh, a particular site uh, who were people against that administration and uh, DreamHost had to go to court saying, hey, we're not going to turn this data over uh, because it is within their free speech rights. There are other web I mean, to hosts. To visit a website is what we're talking to about. Visit a, yes, to, to visit wild. a website. To, and, and, but but there also are, of note, that's recorded. Yes. So there, it existed to have to defend, right? Right. So that's, that's interesting. So, Quick question, and I, I a lot of this is public documents, so I know that it's fair to ask this is a court public court case. Um, was that site that was in question on a dedicated server or like on a VPN? Yeah. No, so it wasn't on a dedicated server. If it was on a dedicated server, would those IP addresses have been collected? Yeah, I, I mean, of course, because that that oh, is okay. how like when when Just you're logging it all. Yeah, when your site is served up, like there are server logs. Uh, those logs are retained for uh, a number of days and get rotated out. Uh, it's, I mean, they're not like held on to forever, uh, but still. But uh, I, either way, like that was one example. But I mean, we we have, um, you know, um, sex workers, uh, dominatrixes, uh, like it, you know, a, a, like I mean, all it is sorts. LA. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I mean, but, and they're, I mean, I'm sure they're from, coming from all over the place. <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, people who are, are doing like, uh, you know, adult sites, uh, things mm -hmm. like that. It, it's a matter of, uh, what, uh, the host is comfortable with. And in a lot of cases, uh, and in, I mean, this, this ends up being, uh, most cases like what, uh, the, the backers, uh, of uh, those hosts are comfortable with. So you have mm -hmm. hosts that are, um, you know, backed by uh, venture capital, things like that. And, uh, you know, they're like, hey, uh, ma maybe no porn sites on this web hosting. Maybe no... Mm -hmm. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's adult sites or adult sites. What happens in the privacy of somebody's home, that's their own business. As long as it's not something, uh, completely disgusting and illegal, like there are hosts out there that will, 
uh, allow this content, but you have to make sure, uh, just like if you're selling adult content, not all credit card providers are going to want to accept your business if you're selling right. adult content. Same thing with cannabis in California. I I have a lot and of conversations well. with folks about um, there's the there's a uh, <laughs> I was like, how do I tell the story? Well, basically, like point of sale systems in cannabis shops change frequently. And in discussing why those things change frequently, it's because they're not, they, there are various banks or whatever that host those point of sale systems change their terms of service. And then like, they're like, oh, we can't have your type of business. So it's this kind of constant, like a constant refinement of what that I means and what's acceptable and all that. I have a I have a friend uh, Derek who does uh, uh, it's federally legal. Uh, he has a, a cannabis uh, business, uh, and one of my old coworkers over at WP Engine, uh, Shada uh, Tarabi, like has a cannabis business that's running out of Texas. All the time, they're having to deal uh, with uh, and and like, but it's a cannabis business where they sell CBD, something that is legal at the federal level. But right. there are still businesses that, because it is weed, they don't want to touch it. They don't want that money going through. They don't want some uh, new uh, law to be enacted, and then they have to like you know cut people off. So they'll just cut people off proactively. Uh, and right, just, uh, yeah, like block it from the thing instead of dealing with it or coming up with a nuance, a nuanced policy that's like if it's federally legal, it's okay. They just lump it all together and say none of all of this, none of this right. entire subject or whatever it is. So yeah, can I introduce bring it one other? Oh, yeah, sorry, can I introduce one other type of of server that we didn't discuss yet. Sorry, yeah, sorry, say. So no, the, the last one is. The one that I hate the most, which is called serverless hosting. Oh Do God. tell. Oh. Do tell. So the idea of serverless hosting is that uh, a company uh, provides like the infrastructure and everything. And they that infrastructure that's that that's provided is being paid for by their bigger customers. And then the smaller customers, the UNI type folks that just want to host like some little whatever website, they'll provide you with the infrastructure to be able to just put up your small little website on there that could have some functionality in it. Typically it doesn't, it's usually like pretty flat, just pretty basic uh, static site, but being able to host that on something like, like Netify is one of them. There's a whole bunch of these types of serverless hosting companies is that and like it's Insta good for just like spin up spinning up a thing and throwing it on there and using it right? but it's i mean it it's it's different <laughs> what's the difference i i don't think i've used one of those is yeah they're um like i've never i've never built anything that i used in production for it um i've used it for just like small little website for myself just to kind of play around with it um, but I've never, I've never used it like to scale, you know, to, to be perfectly honest, have Cosper, have you touched any of that? Uh, I, I know of, uh, I, I've played around with a little bit of it. Uh, however, uh, there, there is, uh, currently, uh, yeah, uh, they end up, uh, the serverless stuff is, uh, where a lot of static sites uh, are stored, where it's like you can uh, spin up and tear down uh, a server like instantly on demand, so you don't basically need Is to that keep the like resources. Digital Ocean? Uh, running in the background, it's not even like digital ocean. This is, uh, the serverless stuff really happens on like, uh, an Amazon, uh, AWS level on Google cloud, things like that. Uh, mm. I do know that so it's basically Carl cloud cloud, it, but it's still the server. It's just an, uh, uh, like, a oh, yeah, it's poorly server? named. I mean, it has <laughs> to like, it has like, it has, so this is what I was thinking. It was like, you know how like WP Playground is like in the browser? Like does that doesn't have a server, right? That's I was thinking that was more like serverless. Is that totally a different thing? Because it's not storing it anywhere. So it's not actually serving up anything, right? It's I don't know. I don't know. This part's confusing because yeah, what it, are we it, talking about? Yeah, just, Air, it's, a, it's a poorly named bite, thing. <laughs> computer. Right. I don't even know what I, we're talking about anymore. I will say there is Water an interesting paper? thing. 
<laughs> there's an interesting thing. Uh, Carl Alexander has built this uh, service, uh, and I always butcher it when I pronounce it. It's Y M I R Mir. Uh, well, Mir, is, I've seen that. <laughs> Why Mir? Yeah. It, it is a, a serverless WordPress and uh, the things that he's doing there are like fairly impressive, uh, but uh, it, it's something basically he's figured out a way to uh, serve up a WordPress like in a e way that is what they're saying. Oh, like e -mirror. E mirror. I get it. That makes yeah. so much more sense now. I've never understood why it was called that. Right. Is that <laughs> it's like Zach mirror, and, right? So it's serverless. Is that mirrored Zach, stuff? Wow. Zach in, in, in the chat is saying like serverless just means you don't have to worry about the servers because they're abstracted away. Right. It's, so they're still there. It's the they're cloud. Just, exactly. They're cloud servers. Still right. exist. You just are like, you know, connecting through other pipes. Everything is so poorly named these days. It's just aggravating. Like I just I mean, we ran out of like, names. We just but like other languages like put more words together and create more words. Like serverless just doesn't even make any sense. Like cuz there's still a server. I'm like, what are we serving? <laughs> this is why this title is so perfect. It's, it's giving server. It's that's, serving maybe internet. that's what serverless is. It's giving server. It's not actually a server. It's just giving server. <laughs> Right, or it's like the lacrosse of uh hosts, it's like right essence it's, of server, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the uh, you know, uh, pommel mousse lacrosse, it was introduced <laughs> to the idea of a grapefruit, but there is actually no grapefruit fl flavor in there, right? <laughs> okay, I have um, uh, I know we're over time, and I know like this is such a huge topic in general, but. When we're talking about, I just, I just really needed to talk about quick install. I just needed to talk about it. Like quick install via the C panel. Like who made that? Where that is that from C panel? Like who made the quick install for WordPress? Oh, like How one, does that, one click like, install? That? Yeah. Like it was literally within C panel, right? And it was called quick install for whatever. Like, and then it's now it's just, um, you know, one click, like if you're on, a DreamHost shared server, which I have some of those too. You know, you just click your like install WordPress. So it's like quick install, but it's like, I'm assuming you make it yourself and it just adds some, you know, files. It adds a file structure, right? I, I will not claim that uh, DreamHost invented this, uh, but around a very similar like time frame. Uh, there were hosts that kind of came up with with a one click install where it yeah, was just one really install. easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, I used to teach. I used to teach the famous five minute install that existed on the sites for way too long, you know, and like show people how to upload those things using like FTP, pre S FTP, right. like and you know set these different things like that. You know, I would teach people how to do that walk them through it like i did i did a talk on it at like a word camp in like 2014 or something so you know it, it's not even that far off right that it was right that you were uploading your own files you would get some server space here's your server space and then you'd upload your own files and then the whole quick install thing little button started showing up in the c panels was mm -hmm. that so that you were like the tesla and the edison of the quick install I, I I believe uh to to borrow uh from uh the uh illustrious uh one time uh poet laureate uh Ray J, uh we hit it first. <laughs> um right. Okay, um, but but so when like now it's like I mean essentially it's the same thing, right? That's what we're talking yeah. about. Oh, yeah. And so all you're doing in a managed but, host it's like the shared one click, host but okay mm -hmm. the one click install has been around since like 2005 2006 like that is how oh, i don't know like, i don't have the timeline the install the, the timeline. wordpress the the 5 minute install where it's like you can do all this and you can do it through ftp and etc mm -hmm. etc it's a 5 minute install has not been a 5 minute install since 2005 2006 when uh it lasted one -click five installers, minutes exactly <laughs> It 
yes in in the grand scheme of things on this long timeline um like we have had a, a quick install and yes, managed WordPress is effectively uh, a one click installer. Like there with, with its own protections and its own yep. auto updates and whatever. A five minute install defines itself just like PHP defines itself. <laughs> I love it when you like weigh in and like some philosophical with some philosophical moment. Um, <laughs> Check out silent Bob over here. <laughs> it's the best. Um, so I come in, I come in clutch sometimes. <laughs> the the um so that we've got the the quick install where you would do that stuff, and then you know the managed hosting, and we've got serverless stuff happening over here. All that stuff still exists. Something oh, I, yeah. I think is really interesting is that WordPress, uh, the famous five minute install, was around for so long. I think even because uh the quick install and the one minute install button and whatever existed is because wordpress the software needed to provide a way to do it that didn't rely on something like a host with cpanel or a you know a one stall a one click install button like it yeah. it it was like server neutral right or like host neutral in terms of you get yourself some server space and then you do this to it. And that's how you can install this, you know, no matter who your host is in theory, right? right. Like that was, and so I think it had to be around for a lot longer without doing that. I don't, um, I haven't checked in a really long time um, in like the docs, certainly since we've moved from the codex, but I wonder what it says right now in the docs about how to install because we know the hosting page is its own world of interesting, but I, I think that's something people should go look at. Also, not pre-researched as a thought. Okay, Just so I will say that a lot of those like one-click install setups were like cruft installers. It was almost like buying a Windows computer from like from like Walmart, and mm -hmm. like all of the Walmart uh, companies that that Walmart kind of like worked with has all that software installed so like you get right. the free trial of the sims and the free trial of the this <laughs> and the free and, trial of that and then there's yeah. the icons on the desktop that don't have programs installed it's just an icon that goes to walmart.com and that goes to their streaming service and that goes to, to to their whatever services when you go log into wordpress you get this thing in the corner that says this you got the notification bars that are going to constantly be bothering you you're going to have some goofy, you know, caching plugin that also provides some other type of thing. And you get all this cruft. And so, right. you know, we used to say going in, not... you know, when I was going to the, oh. you know, early on with our, um, our WordPress meetups, I'm like, I would never use one of those one click installs because that one click install installed like every theme that ever existed, you know, all the year themes, all the everything themes got all installed on there. And, you know, we would do this whole like best practices thing where it's like, Oh, you should never have anything installed on your website. That's disabled yet. Mm -hmm. The web host is installing all this crap that is essentially disabled. Like you're not mm -hmm. using any of these pieces. And so it, I don't know, it was always, it, there was always this contradiction that it's like, if you took the extra time to actually do the installation yourself, one, you know how the thing's installed. Two, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to migrate later if you're going to have to manually migrate your website. And three, you understand the difference between the database and the files. Right. Because these are two separate the components part. to the website. Yeah, and people so, don't think about that in terms of not when you when you decouple it, the experience from that, it's like, you know, that's sort of a, cri a crisis. I don't know if it's a crisis, but that like Gen Z and Gen Alpha are facing is that, uh, or at least that I've read, is that they are so kind of abstracted from the thing itself um, that they actually don't understand computers that well because they're right. not looking at, you know, it, it's like it's like a car engine these days. You can't necessarily look at it and take it apart, right? It's just a bunch of sealed electronic gadgets, which is interesting because like, I always struggle to start our uh, newer Rav4 hybrid, which I like cannot figure out how to start the dang car half the time. And you know, I've got my old Versa, right? I'm doing that. 
just starts up. I'm like, and I'm turning a key and the engine is coming on. And the difference is like, I can't, like you can't even look at the engine and figure anything out. I had a I had a I had a Datsun in the 1990s that the starter went bad and instead of like oh no now I have to replace this computerized starter uh, mm -hmm. for it because I was broke uh, I I couldn't even afford a, a hundred dollars for a starter. I mean you were to... you were driving a Datsun so that kind of explains it. exactly. <laughs> uh, Dr driving a Datsun. Even I about... know that, and I know nothing yeah. about cars. Unless it was a 280Z, then you're then but... you were cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll get, but let me get to this. Get uh, to it, I was in, in order to start my car. Yes. I had to put a key in the ignition and everything else. Uh, but I also had to pop the hood and arc the starter with a screwdriver. Oh, so you're like, Rrr. uh, yeah. You're like yeah. Jumping so your own would, car? yeah, I, well, it like shorting the jumping car. The so it would start, oh, wow. uh, but you could do and, that. Right. right. Like you exactly. could get in there and do that. And that's exactly what that server for access allocated for six before. months for six months. Oh, I wow. did that every time you I started couldn't. your car, every single time I started my car. Uh, wow. <laughs> Mika coming now, in hot in the chat comments. Woo! Tucker Woo! Uh, was talking <laughs> about, don't miss was out talking that about uh, pre-installed, um, themes and everything else. And, uh, I know I shouldn't say this because, uh, one of, uh, one of my higher ranking coworkers has shown up in the chat, uh, Brett, uh, hi, Brett. Um, hi, Brett. please, please don't be mad, but Dreamhost was guilty <laughs> of shoving a lot of themes into. Oh yeah. The it was a checkbox. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it, maybe now it it's Dream a checkbox. I don't think it was yeah, yeah. someone had a someone had a partnership with in 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 new in a, it was like red branding i don't remember in in i can't remember who it was all right well they well, had they installed if you did like the see dreamhost you can do the deluxe version which is like here's all our partners that you've ever met you have now a gift basket in your hosting <laughs> or here is a basic install. now now clean it all up <laughs> every yeah, well, secret lab the chairs only in there <laughs> The, the, I actually have sent, I would be like, send clients, like, go do, you know, go install this, use this, whatever. And for a long time, I hadn't like gone through that process when it was added. And so I didn't realize, oh, by the way, you need to check this button. <laughs> Make sure. I was like, just put your card number right. in, up, send, you know, we'll get the credentials. Like, but as I open it up and I'm like, oh, we've, de 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 we have, we have gotten a lot better about that. We only install like, one theme now besides whatever 2020 uh, is coming with like your version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, see, I just made the content evergreen by going 2020. Uh. You could watch this <laughs> in 2026 and uh, it's no, totally but you it's, are it's like, it. it's like that and Astra and, and that's it. But um, and this is something that I, I know that other uh, places are doing now. Uh, we've refined the one-click installer a little bit where it's like, hey, you can have just the raw thing, but we ask like what you're trying to do with your site. And I give saw you, that like, recent onboarding. Oh, I yeah. love onboarding. I've been talking uh, about onboarding. Oh, actually, this is so amazing because I was going to mention when you brought up Brett that Brett and I have the distinction of having been on the possibly mythical, sometimes I think it might have been mythical, uh, growth council, WordPress growth council, consumer mm -hmm. growth council back in 2018, I believe. And we talked about WordPress onboarding back then. <sighs> yeah, so. <laughs> what year is it? Mm. I, I, I feel like, I feel like we're at a point now. Six, six years. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like we're at a point now that if something gets pre-installed on WordPress, there uh, you can't just throw a f uh, maybe you can throw like a form plugin or something. But if you're doing like, hey, we're going to put this caching plugin in place for you, like uh, like Tucker said, that has uh, stuff like, hey, like let, yeah, let, let's put um, shout out. Right. Let, let's let's put 
uh, like a, a pre-configured like best practices in place because you put something like WP Supercache in place and uh, nobody knows how to configure WP Supercache. Most right. people I see who are running WP Supercache, which is a great plugin, do not have it configured correctly. They just right. turned it on and then they're like, okay, my site's cached. No, your site's not cached. It's like Things turning on Yoast and on. being like, my site is SEO'd. Exactly. <laughs> but so, like, I mean, to that end, there can be some benefit in just turning it on. So it, yes. isn't, it, it is better than nothing in some cases. But I think I think the, the pre-configured, pre-installed stuff is really great because of exactly what you just said. So that would, so like just to extend the analogy <laughs> to the end of the show, that would be like you get a furnished apartment, but you know, it's like customized to your tastes versus, versus like just getting a furnished apartment. That's like, you know, here's the furniture you get, right. You get to like right. select it from a, from a catalog in advance. And maybe there's like, you know, five, five different versions and you pick the, you know, mid-century modern yeah. one instead of the like Rococo, you know, grandma style one. Right. Grandma or, 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 yeah. or, uh, or boho or, or shabby chic. Right. <laughs> Ma Max maximalist. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want, right, I want a mid-century modern one. Though. Come on. Anyway, I think it's really interesting. I, I think there's actually so much more to talk about. We are definitely in the, the new era, but like, I think that the, you know, we didn't even get to talk about the future of it, which is the differences in hosting. So maybe we talk about this at a future time. The differences in hosting in the future are, um, are going to be things like, do you get to select your starting palette? You know, mm -hmm. even in so far as how themes are going to impact that, like, What's right. the start, not just the starting theme, but the starting collection. And there's a lot of different, um, uh, a lot of different hosts have been buying up little, uh, well, not little, but uh, more like, like theme shops or block shops. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that is part of the, what can we offer you as part right. of your baked in you know, what are our, the amenities of our building? You know, is there a pool? Is there a hot tub? You know, are there multiple like common areas? Are you getting uh, what block patterns are you getting when you? Well, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. That's that that is more sort of like, you know, you've got your onboarding, which is like what type of site, which you guys are really getting to or you folks over at, at DreamHost, which is like I, I really love that approach personally, because it's really more like just giving you. I don't know, a uh, like a. a a selection, right. That seems somewhat customized, right. It at least sure. makes you feel like, like I didn't go through all the different options and say like, Oh, they're actually all the same. <laughs> and they just are collecting data. I'm assuming there's some difference in terms of like what you're, you're putting in there right at the end. And I think that as we, you know, like I said, as we de theme as block pat blocks and patterns and um, AI like for content starts to feed into this. Um, I mean, we're really talking about a new level of website building and that really rests even more like right on top of website hosts, right? Like that's yeah. really like, so it becomes like, what what flavor are you starting with? It, and, and that is really, I think, going to, be more of a consideration, at least for WordPress specifically, not you know, excluding all the other sort of things, but for like, especially managed hosting or one click hosting shared, whatever, like more so than competing on the price, like $7.99 versus $9.99 versus whatever. Um, I think it's really going to be about, you know, those partnerships, the, and like those. The value add. Right. The, exactly. The value add. Like, what are the amenities of your building? If they're all on the same street and they're all whatever, what is, what are we, what are you going to get? Yeah. So, so let me, let me try to, let me try to bring this home. Uh, bring Tucker, home. get that, Tucker, get that outro button ready. I have been working in web hosting since 2006. Uh, and it, eight, almost oh, 18, it'll be 18 years in june that i have been working in web hosting uh just just a year less than i've been actually like doing wordpress stuff uh and uh really 
uh, in that time, and it continues to be, uh, you know, especially with the consolidation uh, of uh, plugins and things getting rolled up, uh, especially with, uh, you know, new server technologies, uh, you know, people uh, modifying uh, things and, and getting, uh, like, you know, con continuing to tune WordPress as we get like, uh, you know, the performance group doing things, stuff like that, uh, new like server and service technologies, mm -hmm. uh, like, like playground uh, and instas and I mean, it, playground oh, insta, tough. yes, but like, uh, you know, we're no longer using, uh, uh, you know, Apache most hosts and we're moving to nginx and there are things beyond nginx. Uh, and whatever could, my SQL light, what, whatever pipe dream that is, I don't know if that's still a thing. We were talking oh, about yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, SQL light, right. SQL. So, uh, all of these things. There's that, no my uh, anymore? You know, Did they de MySpace? I'm oh, sorry. No, no. Uh, SQL light is different than MySQL. It's, there's no relation between the two. It's, they're both what? databases. Yes. Uh, we can get into that later. Please say, <laughs> let's not keep it going any further. I'm sorry. No, it's a dev future dev branch. Yes, absolutely. Your SQL or my SQL? I just named it. There, there go. we go. But yes, uh, Tucker. Is this uh, the time where I do the ad copy for the Squarespace ad? I, I just wanted to make sure. No, this is where I, you I put can, the dev branch. It, here. This is where you put the dev branch um, promo. <laughs> right. I opened oh, yeah. promoting I dev read, branch and we're closing the Squarespace with... ad copy if you need me to. No, oh. that's okay. okay. All right. Just want to make sure. All right. Here's, a, here's our outro. Over to our website at jgwarrior.com. Subscribe to all the things that we've got going on over there. We stream at all the places. Sometimes these places change because, you know, things happen. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Talk to y'all later and see us in our Discord. Bye bye. Love ya. Happy 